Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, my name's Spesh, and in this video we're going to discuss some new info that we have on the ethereal monkey easter egg that was inside of D-Machina way back at the start of Cold War. Now there has been some new stuff inside of Outbreak that actually gives us some interesting little tidbits about what this easter egg could be and exactly how it works. So stick around because we might just crack this one today. But before we get into that guys, if you guys like what you're seeing here on the channel, then go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I heard, this is uh, this is just a rumor, I don't know if it's true, but I heard that if you subscribe to this channel, you will get the ray gun out of the box on Outbreak within the next five hits. Just a rumor, don't know if it's true, but were you willing to risk it, really? So without further ado guys, let's get into this bad boy. So if you guys remember the Ethereal Monkey Easter Egg from D Machina, I had a video about it here during like the Christmas Eve time um, Jingle Hells event that they had going on, and this video gained a decent amount of traction, at least for um, for my channel. It was a pretty decent amount of traction for me at the time. And, and so yeah, we're, we're, we're still kind of waiting on anything to come out of that. Obviously, so on the wall it says gold for banana. Um, we had the Ethereal Monkeys here. We had like the, like, we, I don't remember exactly how many were. There were like 30 plus monkeys on the map. I don't even remember how many monkeys that were on D-Machina. But basically, we have not heard or seen a thing about the Ethereal Monkey Easter Egg up until the release of Outbreak the other day inside of Season 2. So when you are doing the holdout step inside of Outbreak, if you haven't already done that, basically what happens is you spawn into like this little world area and then it'll say holdout. You gotta run over to this big ass Ethereum crystal and place an explosive on it. And then some devilish voice is gonna be like, uh-uh, sister. And it's gonna transport you to like this like very closed off holdout room. And inside that room, especially over here in this corner, you can see one of these ethereal monkeys. And it's very strange. Like I said, we haven't seen an ethereal monkey since D Machina. There was no sight of them on Firebase Z. And so it got me thinking, what the heck, man? Like, what, what is the deal with these ethereal monkeys and what is going on? And then it kind of clicked for me, and I thought about it a little bit more. Now, there's a step inside of Outbreak where you have to escort a rover through the world. And in the back of this rover is a monkey. And the way that I think these two things correlate here is this. The idea of having this live monkey specimen inside of this cage here is basically to see what happens to the monkey, a live specimen, when it travels through certain dark ether portals. So basically, in a nutshell, Requiem is testing? I don't, wanna, I don't know if testing is the right word here, but they're running tests on these monkeys in a way. And they're seeing, you know, what happens to the monkey if they go through the portal. And you'll see from the gameplay here that every once in a while when the monkey goes through the portal and it, like, the portal rejects it and shoots, them, shoots the uh, rover off somewhere, the monkey is replaced with something different. I've had it be a nuke, I've had it be Ethereum crystals, I've had it be a bunch of different things, but the monkey is gone. So that leads me to believe that the reason that we're seeing ethereal monkeys all around when we're in dark ether mode is that they are basically being trapped inside of the dark ether once they go through these portals. And at first I kind of thought it was going to be like a uh, like a callback to like Dead Ops Arcade and somehow they might tie it in. And they still might. I mean, if you know anything about Cold War Zombies this year, they love to tie all this stuff in. And also on D-Machina, we do see the silverback on one of the walls in the graffiti art. So it's possible that somehow this all ties in together. Maybe one of these monkeys grows up to be the silverback. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, basically I'm kind of debunking the idea that there actually is an ethereal monkey easter egg to begin with inside of D-Machina. I think that this is nothing more than monkeys that were being tested on to see what happens when they go inside of the dark ether and go through the portals. These are monkeys that got stuck inside of the dark ether and are basically here to stay. Whether these monkeys died or not, or if they're somehow being transformed by the dark ether, obviously we can't know. But this is the first time that we are actually seeing a live monkey, and then we see what happens when it goes through the portals. And I almost feel like maybe Treyarch didn't even plan on doing this and then they saw how freaked out we were getting about this like monkey easter egg inside of D-Machina and they're like okay we we got we got to give them something now whether or not this officially debunks the theory of a monkey easter egg inside of D-Machina I'm not really sure and I mean really we can't be sure until we make it through the entire story arc of Black Ops Cold War Zombies but if you guys did like this video please smash a like rating on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for everything Cold War Zombies I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.